千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. I think everyone would agree that the Earth is beautiful beyond description. Now, of course, the ancient sages had no idea how the Earth looked from space. They perhaps had an inkling that the world is beautiful just by looking around. They could, for example, climb a high mountain and then look down. To see how things look from very high up, usually the vantage point of flying creatures, the birds. So they could intuitively sense and extrapolate from what they saw that the world was precious. After all, the world is what gives us. Gives humanity the gift of life. It is, after all, the only world we have. If we, if we mess this up, guys, it's game over for mankind. It's the end of mankind. So I think everyone has the same idea. The world is all we know. It is all we have. We have. Guesses about heaven, void, etc. We cannot observe them directly, but the world we can. So, Tim, you are absolutely correct. The urge to control oftentimes comes from fear. So, I absolutely agree with my friend Carol. And what is required to let go of this fear is courage. And Barry is also correct. Sacred, special, unlike any other. This is the only world we possess. We don't have a backup. We don't have a plan B. This is not only our plan A. It's the only plan. So, oftentimes we talk about marriage being sacred. Because it's a relationship unlike others, so it's the same about the sacredness of the world. We have this world unlike any other. We have this life unlike any other. We don't have a backup life. Cat may have nine lives. We sure don't. This lifetime, this is it. So. There are people, of course, who are forward-looking, look into the future of mankind, and they may point out that, for instance, in in the distant future, humanity may have enough ability, resources, technology to go to different worlds, to other to go to other worlds. You know, television shows and movies, Star Trek, Star Wars, are based on that premise. Closer at hand, in the near term, in comparison to science fiction, what about migration to other planets in the solar system? So wouldn't that be a possibility too? And then we wouldn't just have, you know, the Earth as the only plan that we have instead of Plan A, Plan B. So here's something that I think is worth keeping in mind. We know that it's going to cost a great deal of time and effort, resources to go to another planet. We already know that. We can plan it out. We we know what's required. We know technology that is almost ready for doing something like that. We know what it, what it would take to sustain、uh, a remote outpost of humanity in the solar system. So scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson pointed out that. 
this cost of going to another planet, whatever other planets we have in mind, let's just say Mars, that cost would be far more than simply fixing the planet that we are already at. So going to another planet, while it is necessary, is something that has to be done, is something that we really need to do as a species, we got to keep in mind that the cost of doing that is far more than the cost that it will take to fix our problems right here and now. So I hope that helps in viewing the world as sacred. It's not just the only world that we know at the present time, even when we have multiple worlds, this is still the special one. This is still the birthplace of humanity. It is still sacred and divine. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.